guys welcome back to our channel today we have a makeup tutorial to share with you guys and this is for back to school it's a really easy natural and wearable makeup for every day so let's get started all right so i've already prepped my face with skincare products and we're just going to move on to the next step which is to prime the face and i'm using this water-based primer from beige chew i love how it just gives my face a really natural um, healthy dewy glow and it helps your foundation process much more easier to apply and then I'm just going to apply it evenly to my face and then use my fingers to blend out the primer. To foundation I'm using this CC cream from its cosmetic and I'm just gonna pump it and dotting it to my face and I love how this foundation gives me a really natural uh, no makeup look and it doesn't feel like you have foundation on at all so which is why I love this product With an angled foundation brush, I'm just going to um, blend the product out upward. And then using vertical strokes to blend out the foundation so that there's no streakings left behind from the brush. For concealer, I'm using this NARS concealer to uh, apply it to areas where I need a little bit more coverage and I'm just going to apply it sparingly, nothing too heavy and then apply it to under my eye as well to brighten up my eye area. Using my fingers, I'm just going to Blend it in and your body heat will make the product um, apply much more better and it just helps blend everything in much nicer and it makes it long lasting. Alright and then I'm going to set everything with a um, loose powder. This one is from Innisfree. It's their No Seba Mineral Powder. I'm just going to lightly uh, dab that onto my eye area and then under my eye as well. And then also onto my T-zone since I am combination skin. So my T-zone tends to get oily throughout the day. So I usually like to start off with the areas on my face where I take the most time on and that is my eyebrows. So with my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Medium Brown, I am going to start off at the end of my brows and then work my way inward. So I like to usually draw the shape of my eyebrows and then fill it in. And then slowly drawing upward strokes following the growth in my hair um, to create a more natural look so we don't want anything that's too bold or really um, precise or we want a really natural looking finish so I'm just gonna go in and blend any harsh lines moving on to the eyes I'm just gonna prime my eyelid with this primer from Elizabeth Moth Alright, so taking the Naked palette, I'm going to only be using three shades and then using the brush from the palette as well. We're going to start off with the base, which is in the shade Naked, and apply it vertically across my eyelid to evenly distribute the eyeshadow. 
and then using swiping motion to blend out the product. Okay, so going in with the next shade in the color Buck, I'm going to use the fluffy end of the brush to apply it to the end of my eyes just within my crease line to create a bit of dimension to my eyes. We're not going for a smoky look necessarily, so just something to create a more of a shadow to the end of your eyes. And then going in with our last eyeshadow in Half Baked, I am just using my fingers to dab it onto the center of my eyelid to create a um, pop of color or a brightening effect and slightly blend it out. And then taking the same shade, I am just going to apply it to under my eye as well. And this is just going to create a really bright eyed, wide awake effect. And it just makes your eye appear a lot brighter. Moving on to lining the eyes. I am the worst when it comes to lining my eye, my eye line or my eyelash. <laughs> And, um, and it takes a bit of time for me, so I like to just draw dots on my lash line as close as possible to my lash line and then connecting it with um, my fingers to blend out the dots. The point is to create the illusion of full, uh, thicker lash line. And then I'm just going to curl my lash and apply mascara. I'm using this one from Lancome. I'm not even going to attempt to say the name, but yeah, it's my all-time favorite and I just really like to see my eyelash come to life. This next step is totally optional, um, it's not necessary to do, but I do have a wider angle face and it tends to look a bit flat, so I like to go in with a bit of bronzer and lightly contour my cheekbones as well as my jawline. And we want nothing harsh or really, um, you know, bold, so I'm taking this contour kit called Too Cool for School and with this fluffy powder brush. I know it's not meant for contouring, but I feel like I have a lot of control over it. So I'm just going to dab a little bit in and then apply it lightly to my uh, cheekbones and my jawline. And then with this middle shade, I am going to lightly contour um, my nose area. I'm just going to lightly draw a triangle motion in my inner corner. Next is blush time and I'm taking the same brush that I use for contouring on the other side and dabbing it into this Tarte blush in the color Party and it's a really nice pretty pink color and I'm going to lightly swipe it across my cheeks to give a natural, you know, flush look. And then on to highlighting, I am only highlighting the areas where it's necessary for me. So that is my cheekbones and then a bit on my brow area. So uh, using my fingers, I am going to dab a bit, blend it across my cheekbones and then um, that's pretty much it. Ok, 
Okay, and then lastly, moving on to our lips, I am taking this lip liner from Buxom in the shade Restricted, and I love this lip liner. It just glides in so nice, and it's not drying on the lip at all. So I'm going to start off by lining the inner um, areas of my lip, and then slowly with the blush, uh, not the blush, but the brush, on the other end, I am going to blend everything out so that it's not, it creates a really nice, plump, healthy looking lip effect. And we don't want any, you know, really straight or any lines anywhere that's really defined. For the very final step, uh, this is optional, but I usually like to go in with a setting spray and it just really helps, you know, refresh my makeup and set everything. And this is pretty much the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy and hopefully it was easy to follow along. If you like more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment down below. And if you haven't already followed us on our social media, I will put our handles down in the description box as well as all the products used in this tutorial. And that is it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!